working with um, the poet and pro broadcaster Ian McMillan and the Black Dyke Mills Brass Band and also Halifax Choral Society and the, the Yorkshire Youth Band. In this piece we're exploring different emotions that run through um, sportsmen and women as they run in a race and we're exploring things like tension, exhilaration, that feeling that you're slowing down when you're actually running as fast as you can and the idea of time stretching and pulling at you and slowing down and speeding up um, and the idea of that shared teamwork um, that's involved in passing of a baton and um, we work um, with that through the words and also through passing different sounds through the, through the brass band and the choir. Ian and I saw a film which Chris Akabusi had made about their successful UK 4x4 race and um, it's, it's, it's a really inspirational film and um, it, it explores um, aspects of the emotions um, that, that go through um, sports men and women when they're running and um, we're, the music and the words of this piece explore that. I've started the piece um, uh, I couldn't miss the opportunity to write a fanfare, so there's going to be a massive kind of all, all bells and whistles fanfare, um, which is going to be uh, Olympian in its uh, heights that it scales and uh, celebratory in its, its kind of mood. Um, also, um, brass bands are capable of expressing a huge range of emotions, so they have a very warm, emotional, sometimes a nostalgic feel to them, and Ian's words reflect that, and I'll be able, I'm able to to paint those around those words with, with music. The words I look at, we sometimes we get on the phone to each other, we kind of talk back and forth, um, uh, sometimes changing them, sometimes uh, getting rid of some, sometimes adding a few more here and there, and um, I look for rhythms within those words. I look for rhythms, I look for ways of giving colour and light and shade and different uh, timbres to those, to the, those words. And, um, and it, Gradually, a, a shape emerges from them and from the, the sounds that I hear associated with those words. At the beginning of the piece is always the hardest bit, actually start getting the first notes down and getting the uh, initial ideas down. Once that happens, um, it starts, the, you know, it's a bit, like, a bit like starting off the blocks, if you like, in, in the race itself. You know, it's that hardest moment is, is kicking off and once it's going, you know, you feel like you're picking up speed the whole time. So I'm really, and I'm really looking forward to hearing it in its rehearsal stage. It's a daunting opportunity, shall we say, this, this piece, It's because uh, I know it's going to be heard by a lot of people towards the Olympics and uh, there's going to be, uh, it's going to be broadcast on Radio 3, which is really exciting. But, um, you know, we're always sitting there with that in the back of my mind thinking, you know, I want to do a good job. Um, other than that, it's just pure, pure enjoyment of working, working with music and words. It's a, it's a great opportunity.